Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming. And I think we just want to talk about a few things. And, yeah. So one of the reasons why I decided to join this fellowship and be a part of Resolve was because since I was very young, I had this passion for social justice. And I knew that Resolve was going to be an opportunity for me to learn and get an education on how to do social justice in Hong Kong and just to know more about it in general. And one of the best experiences was getting to meet everybody and all the fellows who are also a part of Resolve who are going on to do amazing things. And it's just been such a great educational experience for me. I'm a student part in Cantonese. Uh, like, oh, I went to the Resolve Foundation. It's like a fellowship program. It's like a fellow. It's 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 a fellow. Uh Everyday Racism video campaign, And I'll hand over to Lois to talk about what impact we hope to achieve with campaign. So I think that the topic of racism and racial bias can be a very uncomfortable topic a lot of times. And we want to allow for there to be a space in which people can have these conversations and people can know that this is happening in Hong Kong and hear the stories of individual experiences and the pain and hardship that comes with it. And we want people to be able to have that experience and to know the experience in order to be able to affect change and support the movement of caring about people. Well, thank you. Enjoy the videos and enjoy the panel.
，有咩人？即係淨係因你只，唔係因你人嘅，唔知有冇幫我食邊個？跟住咧，佢又嗌呢個就有福母身嗰個姐姐一樣嘅，頭先啱啱話我哋嗰啲。跟住佢又好似好似我哋咁，又又問，有呢個有咩食㗎？有個，跟住咧佢有有咧矛盾佢，答個答，啱啱嘅人嗰啲咧，係我哋殺你佢嗰啲咧，又有笑啦，又開心啦，又有咧矛啦，係咪？跟住咧，啊，點解就好似唔公平㗎嘛？唔係唔係，好心痛，又傷好老。好失望，又一齊有咩要要上食飯，你一定要吃，黑食黑食皮膚啦，或者係我哋忍你一年忍啦，唔多係係啲忍，係擔養對我嘅咁多係。但係第二個時間，我同其他朋友講呢件呢嘢呢件事嘅，咁所以我朋友要嚟佢都就自己試過佢經驗呢個件事嘅咁啊，咁即係係打屎啦，係得啲針啦，係好似有好多位係八搭巴士啦嗰啲係好多好多有好多位咧有經驗呢個件事嘅，我經驗嘅，我做過經驗，我係。一年人，或者係三隻個皮膚，應該係工人嘅，但係我哋一齊只係恐慌噶嘛，但係佢哋點嚟對我哋咁樣？I was a tutoring at a center in Banling. I was tutoring English. This job was arranged by a, a, a headhunter for tutors. And the headhunter is a perfectly lovely lady. I still work with her today. But she messaged me saying that the lady would like me to remind you not to wear any Indian traditional clothing to the center. Which I found very, very strange because um, in modern day, we tend not to wear traditional clothing out and about, other than you know, obviously cultural days or festivals. But I, you know, I brushed it over. I said, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wear t-shirts and jeans like I normally do. I was having a conversation with the uh, owner of the center, and she informed me during this conversation that she had told all the parents that I was of Spanish heritage because they wanted a bronzed hair person teaching their children, and she requested me to dress up more Spanish-like. Instantly, when I saw the message, um, even though she was apologetic about it as she was messaging, my blood boiled. I was so unbelievably angry because I, I'm proud of my heritage and I don't understand that why she hired me if that was such a big issue and I'm more than qualified for the job. So it took me a couple of days till I could really reply her. Which, to which I replied, sorry, but if any parents ask me directly about my heritage, I refuse to lie to them. But I didn't leave the job. I thought I wasn't really working with the organizing center. I was working with the kids. I owed it to the kids. I couldn't just leave halfway through. It does make me upset. It does make me frustrated that I that I've basically not accepted. It does hurt because it does give, feel, leave me feeling as kind of a, an identity crisis, I suppose. I do feel like I am a homecomer, and I, or I'd like to think that I am. It's also because I don't see myself as anything else. This is home for me, this is um, who I am. I've not lived or been anywhere else. And I do understand the culture, and I do understand the people, and. Um, all the, what it represents, and I do know the area, of course, itself. I do believe that people are talking more so to one another, but there's a long way we need to go, and just facilitating more integration within the community, within the workplace, um, and just relieving those barriers and breaking them down somehow. So that's what how I believe that things will change and that's so important. Thank you very much for 
Finn 同埋 Lois 頭先嘅開場分享啦。咁、呃、其實呢兩套短片我都睇過好幾次，但每一次睇都係有感觸嘅。咁、呃、總共其實誒成、呃、個系列係有七套短片啦。咁你哋可以上網繼續睇埋另外嗰五套啦。咁誒係啦，咁、呃呃、我哋去到呢個座談討論之前咧，我想問清楚大家係咪個個都已經、呃、有你哋嘅？傳譯嘅耳機 ，Is everyone okay with your translation、um, headset? Okay, all right, great. So, um, 係啦，咁而家我哋有請啊 ，Sophie Abdul Karim 同埋其他嘅其他嘅啊、um, 演講者上台，咁我哋而家會開始啊、uh, 專題嘅討論。咁誒、呃，我哋嘅演講者咧，佢哋嘅履歷咧，就全部都可以喺誒嗰個專題小冊子入邊揾到嘅。好，咁而家我交個麥，小希。交俾交誒麥俾我先嚇。交俾你。啊，咁先要啊，多謝同埋歡迎啊各位嚟參加呢個討論會。啊，我多數會試下講廣東話。但係有啲字我唔識，咁你要原諒我。當時咧我會講英文。OK， 誒，咁呢個 group 都應該都幾 diverse 啦。我住咗香港咁多年咧，我未見過喺一個房咁 diverse 嘅 group， 誒誒，真係誇張啊！誒，聽唔多請誒，先先我請嗰啲誒誒講者誒、呃、上嚟啊！誒、呃、誒。啊 ，Raymond Hall 係誒政府嘅 EOC， 誒、啊、誒 Legal Department， 誒誒誒 Hilda Poon 係 HKGA， 係 Hong Kong Journals Association， 誒、啊，誒，亦孫亞飛係一個誒、uh, entrepreneur， 誒、啊、喺香港，誒、uh, Phil Chung 係 Unison。誒、uh, 係一個誒、uh, social group NGO 係好誒幫同埋重視誒、uh, 少數誒、uh, 族裔人，同埋 George Chan 誒、uh, public policy Facebook Facebook 唔使解釋啦。誒咁我我我哋會盡講廣東話，誒有時會講英文。誒點解咧 ？Not not not least because 我哋有呢個 online 嘅 audience。咁。好多可能好多香港中國人咧會覺得點解我要理或者掛住或者重視少數族裔？誒、uh, ，because 我上堂啊、去大學啊、做嘢啊，可能咧冇乜機會溝通，咁唔關我事。咁有幾個理由，第一個咧係數目係都幾大嘅。如果你 depend on 你點樣計咧 ，around eight percent， 咁你你都有成五十至到六十萬嘅人，同埋咧係 growing， 誒、呃、呢十年咧係 grow by 七十個 percent， 誒咁你會有多啲機會誒、呃、encounter， 誒同埋有機會溝通，誒、呃、同埋有機會 also 係 understanding， 但係 also misunderstanding， 誒同埋咧，如果係咁多人咧，你唔可以社會咧，如果真呢啲人喺邊？喺一邊，係對社會同埋誒對嗰個 overall society harmony 咧唔係好好，你可能咧會有好多 social challenges。咁呢個係一個第二個理由。第三個咧，可能咧好多香港人咧覺得誒、呃、少數族裔係多數係 lower social economic status， 冇錯，係有好多係幾窮嘅。有好多係近期先嚟香港嘅，但係 also 咧，你有，就算如果你去 workforce， 你會有激越嚟越多機會同誒誒 ethnic minority 誒誒誒誒溝通。咁如果佢哋可以明白你哋嘅 culture， 你可以明白佢哋嘅 culture 咧，呢、这個係對社會係係好啲。誒、呃，仲有多兩誒、呃、兩個理由，一個咧可能好多人唔知，我誒、呃、幾個禮拜前咧誒誒誒 R T H K Chinese Channel 訪問過我，咁我話俾話俾佢哋聽，好多人唔知香港大學
係一個印度人，係啲 original founder 嚟嘅。如果你去 main building 最舊嘅 building， 你會睇到一個 statue 係一個 plaque， 係 Sir H M Modi 係印度國王嚟嘅，係嗰時嘅港督 Sir Henry Luga 揾佢話俾佢聽：，喂，你要幫我哋 establish 一個大學。你仲好重視 education， 咁佢捐咗十萬，嗰陣係好多錢。佢捐咗之後咧，第啲人捐。咁我,我相信咧，有好多香港大學學生咧，日日都會 pass 嗰個 statue， 但係唔會問點解會有呢個人喺樹。咁誒，同埋好多啊，誒、呃、誒，好、呃、多人以為 Hong Kong Electric 係李嘉誠啦。Actually， 嗰個 founder 又係嗰個 founder 又係印度國嚟嘅。誒、呃、，Hong Kong Land、Wharf、牛奶公司。You know, that means, 你可以睇到係好多 contribution， 同埋咧 ，the last point， 好多少數族裔，族裔啊，係 ，thank you， 誒係嚟咗香港好耐，好似我嘅家庭，一八八五年嚟香港，我嘅 great grandfather 嚟香港做生意，咁我係同生同長啦 ，right， 或者可能喺呢個房最香港嘅人。係我呢度有冇人早過一八八五年咧？冇啊，係嘛？我哋講 online audience 所能做得到，所以呢樣呢啲係嗰啲 reasons。咁近期咧 ，UN 覺得香港咧嗰個 racial equality 唔係好好，佢佢發表出個 report， 咁香港政府都有 answer。近幾個禮拜咧，香港政府 Carrie Lam 喺佢個 policy address。Matthew Chung 個 Chief Secretary 都係講要做多啲 program 誒，同埋多啲 investment for ethnic minority。咁誒，我哋想講呢啲嘢誒，咁我想誒，就係同阿 Rim Rim 傾下同阿 Rim。咁 Rim 咧，香港有一個誒 racial discrimination ordinance， 我哋係十年啦。咁嗰個 racial discrimination ordinance 咧係 is unlawful。咁於是 breaks the law， 如果你 discriminate or harass the minorities， 咁你覺得十年啦，同埋你同 E O C E O C 係誒早過九七添啊，啱唔啱？係咪九四九六？我記九六 ，just before 誒誒誒誒 hand over。咁你覺得呢呢呢幾年 under R D O 同埋 E O C 有冇進步啊？有冇？啲啊，嗰個 attitudes or just the situation for 嗰啲誒少數誒少少數誒誒族裔嘅，咁嘅。啊，第一樣嘢啦，蘇華頭先問我誒少數族裔係點講啊，佢講得好好嘅，其實嚇。咁啊，非常好啊。咁第一樣嘢咧，我估誒誒平基會咧，即係成立咗廿年啦。咁啊誒，好多其實嚟都有十年嘅時間啦。誒。我我第一個印象咧，就係要係係不斷喺度發展中，因為譬如譬如譬如我哋見到咧，誒、呃、作為一個誒反歧視條例，誒佢係一個我估可以話一個法律嘅保障啦。咁一一定講保障就係基本保障。誒、呃、我哋都見到喺執行上面嘅時候咧，誒、呃、早期歧視條例係有一啲嘅不足嘅地方嘅，因為佢比起其他嘅法例上面咧，係有啲地方係涵蓋唔到嘅。啊，譬如我哋講緊誒喺個種族嘅定義上面啦，誒、呃、嗰、那個誒、呃、無論係佢個國籍啊，或者對於人嘅身份啊，咁都唔係涵蓋裏面。咁第二樣嘢，我哋都見到就係佢嗰個涵蓋面係誒冇其他法例咁闊嘅。啊，譬如喺即係政府嘅功能上面，我哋講加分分分數，咁誒、呃、其他條例係涵蓋埋嘅。咁但係喺立法嘅過程裏面咧，就 whatever reason 啦，嗰時我未喺即係評議會咧，我唔知道啦。咁但係咧，就 whatever reason 之下咧，佢係真係抽起咗。咁有啲咩影響咧？就係、是、譬如、呃、其實當中喺呢十年裏面咧，係有誒、呃、個案係申請上去 court 度去即係審視嘅，但係就基於係一個加分分數嘅嗰個案，就係誒牽涉到即係一啲即係誒誒拘捕啊，或者係一啲即係誒搜誒就係警方搜證啊咁樣。咁而引致到咧就係即係即係嗰個個案係大數。咁你問我誒係、呃、不斷發展中點解咧？我哋都見到呢啲缺陷嘅地方咁，所以評議會喺二零一六年都發布咗一個即係歧視條例嘅檢討。我哋都叫翻政府就係話喂誒有呢啲嘅誒缺陷係要彌補嘅。咁有一系列嘅唔同，我哋有誒七十幾個建議咧，有廿五個係我哋叫
做係優先嘅建議，當中有好多都係關於種族歧視條例嘅。咁政府都揀咗一啲嚟跟進，不過坦白講，你問我，即係呢個我我我個人嘅感受就係，佢揀啲好易做，所以佢易啲嘅。核心嘅頭先我講嘅，譬如即係政府嘅功能啊，或者佢講緊誒誒呢個即係喺個定義上面啊，甚至乎嘅可能教育語言上面呢啲比較我哋認為核心一啲嘅。環節咧，佢仍然喺呢個階段咧係未有任何加幅嘅，亦都冇一啲我哋所謂嘅即係時間表啊各樣嘢。咁、呃、所以其實我哋仲繼續喺度爭取緊。咁亦都係我都見到有好多、呃、即係唔同嘅即係團體咧，亦都喺度爭取緊嘅。咁我諗我係一個發展嘅階段咯。係、呃、有一啲地方係誒喺個歧視條例裏面咧，係開始係去有一啲嘅改進。但係你問我係咪仲有好多地方係要誒、呃、即係做多啲咧？我覺得係嘅。我想問下誒，聽唔聽到 ？Hello， 啊 ，OK。Phil Sir， 呢個 RDO 咧，十年前咧，誒誒，你個 organisation 呢度上嚟都誒，攞咗誒，你你你都都係一個好大嘅 factor。可以 pass 到呢個 RDO， 嗰陣時 pass 咗嗰陣時咧，覺得係一個好 breakthrough 啊！咁你而家十年前，你覺得 RDO 需要需要咩咩多啲權啊？咩係咪 enforcement 啊？或權啊？或 attitude 啊？或誒使唔使要新嘅法例啊？其實咧，融樂會係一個即係關注少數族裔權益嘅團體啦。咁你講得好啱，喺誒即係十年前 RDO pass 嘅時候咧，係做咗好多功夫落去嘅。咁但係誒一開始嘅時候咧，其實條條例咧係有更多嘅保障，其實就係參考翻誒、呃、當時有個三條嘅誒歧視條例啦，包括 SDO 啊、DDO 啊同埋 FSDO 啦。咁但係咧喺過程之中咧，其實有好多好多嘅 exception。係誒、呃、有好多豁免，咁呢啲豁免咧，其實係到咗最後一步，誒、嗯、大家都係話要定要，因為要其實係一嚿豬頭骨嚟嘅，冇乜保障嘅。對於少數族裔，好多重要嘅嘢，譬如政府嘅誒、呃、職能啦，同埋誒佢嘅職權啦，咁譬如好似係講緊 law enforcement 啊，譬如好似誒警察啊，譬如喺外國 racial profiling 咧，可能係誒唔即係。唔係叫做合法法，不過你係唔應該有 racial profiling。你可以 raise 一個 complaint against 誒、uh, 警察，話警察係 racial profiling。乜嘢係 racial profiling 啦？咁我就會覺得拎翻好似我哋而家今日講嘅 everyday racism 一樣。嗯，少數族裔同我哋講，佢一個禮拜係俾警察 check 幾多次 ID， 唔係一年俾人 check 幾多次 ID。大學生亦都係一樣。佢哋係會即係大學誒，即、呃、係、就是、放學啦。咁坐地鐵翻屋企喺地鐵站頂唔住，就係、是、因為咧冇 for no reason， 就係覺得喂，可能你都係啲誒，我諗有傳媒啦，有某啲報紙不停就係將譬如誒少數族裔嘅人就 link up with 譬如一啲嘅誒假難民啊，或者係佢哋犯罪率好高噶。咁往往咧就係、是、其實講緊佢哋講緊一個禮拜俾人 check 幾多次 ID。呢啲係一啲誒、um, racial profile， 係因為佢哋嘅種族而去特登去揾佢哋，叫佢哋攞 ID 出嚟。咁未俾人試過查身份證嗰啲咧，就唔知。其實你係一個咁多人嘅地方嗰度，你俾人查身份證，兩個差人對住你，係一啲好尷尬嘅事情嚟㗎。因為啲人就會覺得，哇！呢、這個人梗係犯咗罪啦，呢、這個人梗係有啲唔妥啦咁。咁為佢哋嚟講係一個好 humiliating 嘅事嚟㗎。即、就、係、是、as simple as racial profiling。咁但係誒呢樣嘢其實喺誒、呃、RDO 咧係唔包嘅。誒、uh, 誒、uh, ，我我會俾你機會誒誒誒 respond。但係我想問一樣誒，而家咧喺英國都有呢個 discussion 關於 everyday racism。咁誒 BBC 嘅 John Humphries 咧係一個 report 嚟嘅，好耐啦 anchor。佢話誒 everyday racism 小事啫，你諗我哋咪打你，唔係 violent。你諗拍第啲地方，仲點時有真正嘅 violence、racial violence？ 香港好少，係咪真係咁大件事啊？唔
如果你問我 everyday racism， 即係唔係講 racial profile 係啊係啊，我覺得大件事。好似 microaggression 咁樣英文嘅話。係啊係啊，我我覺得係好大件事，因為咧，我哋對住嘅其實少數族裔最大嘅問題咧，就喺教育制度上面。咁其實一個制度一個 policy 咧，係一個 government 嘅 function 嚟嘅，所以我哋永遠咧係講唔到俾，即係唔可以 bring 呢、這、一個即係。誒、uh, 呢一個 education system 咧，做 court 就係話，你而家呢個 policy 咧，其實係有啲 discrimination 嘅喎，你係有 indirectly 可能 discriminate 緊我哋好多嘅即係 ethnic minorities 嘅。As simple as 幼稚園，因為咧誒、um, 幼稚園嚟講咧，其實而家咧有誒、um, I have those stats right？ Thank you <笑>。Um, 其實而家講緊幼稚園咧。係誒、呃、一啲南亞裔啊，或者係東南亞裔嘅家長咧，係受到好大嘅歧視。呢、这個咪就係有細路嘅時候，佢每日都會遇到嘅歧視咯。大概誒、嗯、四成嘅幼稚園學生咧，其實只係喺誒 ，sorry， 四十八個 percent 嘅學生咧，喺四十間幼稚園度，即係差唔多一半啊，少數族裔嘅幼稚園生啊。都係喺四十間幼稚園嗰度，而香港有幾多間幼稚園咧？八百七十六間。咁呢一個情形咧，因為佢哋冇一個好嘅即係 basic 嘅 Chinese proficiency 啦，咁變咗佢哋入小學或者入中學嘅時候都有問題啦。咁我哋睇到咧，其實中學同埋小學都係，其實過半數啊，係集中喺得十六間同埋十四間。咁但係我哋而家講咧係有五百幾間小學，四百幾間中學，而呢一啲嘅學校咧，佢哋教佢哋嘅中文程度係好低嘅。咁對於佢哋點樣去融入社會啊，或者係揾一份好工啊，向上遊啊，係即係重重嘅困難嘅。呢個 education issue 咧係一個好大嘅 challenge for for ethnic minority。我哋會遲啲會會翻翻嚟講呢個呢個 education issue。誒，我哋做一個 round 先，咧我想問你誒誒你你誒你嘅 response。但係我想問下 Yasir， 嗯 ，Yasir， we've been talking about you've been listening right？ Yes。Translation about 誒誒誒。Government legislation, uh, 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 casual, implicit, uh, everyday bias, and this that. Um, uh, you've been in Hong Kong. You weren't born in Hong Kong, no. but you've been in Hong Kong uh, now for a number of years. Yeah, twelve years. You established yourself. You went to university here, two universities, right? Um, and uh, started a business, uh, sold it. Yes. Right. So, how do you? How do you look at two things? One, everyday racism in Hong Kong, and how do you see yourself within Hong Kong? Do you see yourself as a Hong Konger, or as an outsider, insider, or what? Well, yes, the second question is the easier one, which is, yes, I see myself as a Hong Konger, like almost every single person in this room, no matter which color of skin you have, you still view yourself as a Hong Konger. And uh, you, you view yourself as a part of the society, but when everyday racism happens, and connecting it to the first question, when everyday racism happens against you, it's not as much as how the society sees you, but it affects how you see yourself. So how you see yourself as part of the society, how the society perceives you does not matter as much at this moment. Because at that moment, you feel isolated. You feel away from the whole society. And it feels like being on an island in an island. So you can't connect to people, you can't convey your feelings, you can't talk about it. But as you mentioned about the company that I started and sold, actually it was a, it was a social enterprise for ethnic minority housewives, trying to empower the homemakers in the community who, who do not have the opportunity to go out and work. So I basically started a platform in which these housewives could make lunch or dinner for the people in offices, so the office people could come and meet them and take the lunch. And instead of them going to offices, the meeting places for this exchange were the MTR stations or some public places on the road. So both parties parties felt, uh, felt safe at that location. Anyway, so what that brought to the society was a cultural exchange in terms of food and in terms of interconnectivity between people. Um, the, the main reason why I started that was I felt that there is racism. There are misunderstandings in the society. And today I'm representing the community, so I would like to tell the community that yes, there are challenges. All of these great people here, they're all talking about the challenges, and it's important to talk about them. It's not because we hate Hong Kong that we talk about them, it's because we love it. We need to fix our homes, so we need to know the problems. 
But once you but once you know the problems, you don't feel that as a community you don't have the power. You have a lot of power. Every single challenge brings a great opportunity, and you can turn that to, just like I turned it. And in the process of turning a big challenge into a big opportunity, you make a lot of money. So that is a good opportunity everybody has. So don't feel demotivated about it. So this is not an us versus them type thing. Can you elaborate on that? Exactly. It's never us versus them when we talk about every everyday racism. When we are in this type of environment, why are we talking about it? Because we it is ourselves. It is us only. If we don't support each other, regardless of our skin color or whatever affiliation we have, cultural affiliations, if we don't support ourselves, who else can we count on? The us versus mentality only comes when there is somebody else from the outside to support you. But there is no one else. We view the city as our home. I mean, your parents or your family have been here from the 1800s. Where else can you go? This is the place that we belong to, and this is the place we love. So it is always ourselves. Hilda, I uh, uh, represent HKJ, Hong Kong Journalists Association. Hong Kong media, Hong Kong media, to create more understanding between cultures.
可能我哋就要翻翻嚟依今日依個方案裏邊，就所有當事人都坐曬喺度，例如誒評議會咯，或者係用落去啦。咁樣我哋就會係專責少少係做依個 racial racial discrimination。咁誒誒，似乎係呢個屬屬係自己誒、呃、monitoring。咁阿 George。Facebook， 你哋都會有誒 monitoring 嘅 mechanism。誒，關於我相信最特別關於呢個 subject 嘅，會係英文叫做 hate speech， 係咪啊？誒誒誒誒，香港有冇呢個 phenomenon？ 第啲地方有好多，但香港誒、呃、我自己唔知嘅。係係英文。誒、呃，你講得好啱，即係英文裡面咧，其實我哋即係嚟自我哋今日討論嘅問題咧，係比較偏係 hate speech 嘅範圍嘅。但係個問題係咧，其實在座好多，我相信香港人唔明白咩叫做 hate speech 嘅，好多人係唔明嘅。呢、这個唔係唔係單單香港香港人嘅問題，係總體嚟講咧，亞洲對 hate 即係個 hate speech 嘅 concept 嘅瞭解咧，唔似西方好似咁早嘅。呢、这個同教育啊各方面啊都有關係嘅。但係誒，我想講翻多少少即係個 broad 嘅 picture。咁我哋點樣嚟加入我哋嗰個 community 嘅？即係好似 Facebook 都係一個 virtual virtual society virtual community 嘅人。咁我哋要自己一個 community standards 嘅，即係中文叫誒社群守則。咁嗰個概念咧，就好似你去銀行申請張信用卡，咁好似你喺 Facebook 開個 account， 咁你申請信用卡嗰陣，你都會 agree to 嗰個 terms of service 噶啦。咁你如果上咗 Facebook 咧，我就當你係 agree 咗我嘅 terms of service 嘅，咁 which is 個 community standards 嘅社群守則。咁、那個社群守則咧喺誒。即係全世界都係一日嘅，即係同埋係公開嘅。如果大家上 facebook.com/slash/community-standards， 如果中文版嘅，其實有四十多種語言嘅，連 Burmese 誒即係 Myanmar 嘅版本都會有，誒、呃、文古文都會有。咁誒咁大家可以睇到 community-standards 嘅定義係乜嘢？我哋對 hate speech 嘅定義係乜嘢？我哋對誒 bullying 嘅定義係乜嘢？甚至喺遇到 bullying 嘅時候咧，應該做啲乜嘢？咁全部都有嘅。咁所以上一年咧，其實我哋同平機會有做過次 training workshop 嘅，咁誒、呃、都有好多 NGO 啊，甚至係其他啲都要嚟聽。但係老實講咧，我自己覺得係做得唔夠嘅，即係即係有個嗰、那個 public education 嘅誒嗰個程度喺香港嚟講咧，相對係低啲。大家好似冇一個，即係我頭先同 Raymond 喺誒誒 outside 咧，我誒傾傾傾嗰陣咧，我都話其實。你如果我我哋希望啦，即係如果你見到不公義嘅事情，或者你覺得係違反咗我哋嘅社權守續嘅，我哋希望去你去誒 report 俾翻我哋嘅，即係個個人 every single Facebook user 都可以 report 所有嘅 content 嘅廣告都好，非廣告都好 ，video 都好 ，text 都好，都可以嘅。你係近一個到到過嚟嘅一個三個月都可以 report, report 之後，你可以揀呢個係 harassment 定係話喺。有啲係 IP violation 同今日嘅 topic 冇關係啦，咁可以噶。但係咧，其實就唔係個個人願意去做呢樣嘢嘅。可能見到係可能係有啲誒 harassment 嘅，有啲係孤立嘅，但係關我咩事咧，就就過咗就過咗啦。咁呢個咧對我哋嚟講係個 challenge 嘅，因為我哋個 community 咧喺即係全世界嚟講係講緊 two point two billion 嘅 users 嘅。咁你香港咧都有五百五十萬嘅 active users 嘅。我都唔希望即係你，你頭先都話 monitoring 啦，其實我係唔中意呢個詞嘅，因為我相信你同香港要話啊，我而家開始有 Facebook 所有嘅嘢都會有人睇住嘅，你寫乜嘢講乜嘢都會有人睇住嘅，一定俾人嬲鬧薄嘅。所以我哋喺即係因為我哋自己個 scale 係更大，我哋喺好大程度上面係 rely on 我哋自己嘅 community 咧，誒、呃、嚟 help each other， 即係 report 有咩 problem 俾到我哋嘅。咁誒、呃、好好正美國而家同埋聽日咧。美國有一個好緊緊要嘅誒 election， 咁誒美國誒 Facebook 呢同埋 Twitter 誒誒嗰個 hate speech 誒、uh, racial hate speech 係一個好大嘅問題，你你知啦。香港係咪真係一誒誒、呃、一個大嘅問題啊？我唔係一個誒好好好大嘅 factor。誒、呃、要我我唔我我自己咧就唔太中意好似攞香港同其他地方比，因為。即係對,對我嚟講咧，一個 hate speech 都係一個問題，唔係話好似其他有啲地方，好似因為 international media 寫得多啲，大家都關心得多啲。啊，我好似香港 media 都比較少寫呢方面嘅事情嘅，咁係咪大家唔唔傾都覺得係冇問題咧
。咁我覺得係即係應該更加多係 focus on 香港到底有咩問題，咁點樣去解決呢個問題？誒、呃，係唔係應該誒、呃、private sector、media sector、呃、誒 public sector 都好？點樣去有一個誒、uh, mechanism 更加有個 close 嘅 collaboration 可以去誒、uh, 解決呢啲問題咧？同埋咧，無論係 hate speech 或者係其他有啲誒、uh, 嚟自 hate speech 嘅因素咧，都好大程度上面同嗰個 local 嘅 cultural 啊 context 有關嘅。有時咧就未必真係話好似係 hate speech hate 著緊人嘅，有時可能誒。Uh, 我分享多少少，即係誒，你你知以前香港就有啲都唔係 slang， 即係會，譬如話話到印度人啦，會有啲特別嘅講法嘅。咁咁咁，但係你話啲攞人教佢係咪真係好真咧？都都都唔一定嘅。明白明白嘅，係啊。咁但係呢方面咧，其實係做 public education 入手係好重要嘅。誒、uh, ，我先翻翻個 Raymond 先。OK， and then and then， 誒誒 ，after Raymond 嘅 response 咧。誒、uh, ，你哋想自己誒誒、uh, uh, interact 誒誒都得，誒、uh, uh, 你哋想 interrupt 都得，誒、uh, 但係 do it politely，、uh, no hate speech。咁 Raymond 啊，咁我哋平時講關於誒誒 education 啊、學校啊、language 啊、教中文啊，呢啲係係好緊要嘅 challenge， 誒同埋好 basic。咁 EOC 有冇有冇誒諗呢啲嘢？有冇誒？有一個 plan 一個 program， 誒誒誒同政府，或者佢自己有一個 program， 佢哋會有你自己嘅 budget 啊啲嘢，誒誒 tackle 呢呢呢啲 challenge。第一樣嘢咧，首先頭先你聽到咧都好特別嘅，我哋啲角色咧，最初就話啲政府喎，政府係代表政府喎，咁但係點知講講下又好似唔係政府喎，咁到底我係政府定唔係政府咧？咁樣咁先講翻俾你聽啦，我哋係個法定機構嚟。啊，咁啊，當然係根據法律成立啦。咁所以我哋咧，嚴格嚟講就唔係政府部門嘅，即、就、係、是、我唔係一個政府大嘅組織裏邊嘅部門。所以我哋嘅角色就有兩方面嘅。我哋成立嚟做乜咧？成立咧就係執行審嘅條例嘅。咁但係當去到咧一啲講緊誒去倡議嘅提示條例啊，或者去執行嘅時候咧，我哋嘅角色又變咗做一個倡議嘅咯。誒、呃，當然我哋會有一啲監管嘅角色嘅。會有監管個角色，但係我哋嘅規格會比較高嘅。誒阿阿菲力神問嘅啦，即係誒點解你唔做 formal investigation 啊？你一定問嘅，所以我答你先啦。咁<笑>咧就我哋係可以做 formal investigation， 我哋過去都做過誒兩個 formal investigation 嘅。咁誒，如果你而家有留意，有好多地點咧誒嘅流誒嘅行通同行人嘅過路多咗電梯咧，啊點解多咗咧？就因為我哋做咗一次 formal formal 唔係 formal 啊 formal investigation。好啦，咁。講緊即係少數做嘅教育啦，我同意嘅幾樣嘢嘅。第一樣嘢就係我覺得咧，而家咧喺嗰個教育制度中仲有好多地方係不足嘅，例如喺嗰、那個、呃、入學嘅時候嗰、那個而家嗰個比例，正如頭先啊 f e l i x 講就係嗰啲數據啦。誒、呃，亦包括咗而家去教少數做嘅誒嘅第二語言嘅中文嗰個嘅系統嗰、那個課程。我哋覺得係仍然有不足嘅。我哋當日其實喺成立咗誒呢個組織歧視條條例之後咧，我哋成立咗一個工作小組嘅。我哋有一份建議書俾咗政府，正如政府咧其實係接納咗建議書裏面大部分嘅意見嘅。不過佢有好多我哋叫做扭扭咗少少嘅概念，咁就做咗一啲我哋叫做、呃呃、二次嘅嘢啦，即係唔係原裝我哋建議嘅嘢嚟嘅。不過佢就。就用乜第二句模式就包裝咗出嚟。我哋喺今年咧就、呃、成立咗個工作小組，再重睇翻，就真係睇翻佢哋而家有一啲嘅措施推行咗、呃。我唔詳細講，因為嗰啲好技術嘅。咁就啊，跟住都係我哋嗰個經管裏面嘅。就我哋而家都喺個去到後期啦，我哋見咗好多唔同嘅持份者 （stakeholders） 啊，我哋就想睇下到底邊啲地方係同我哋願意係有距離嘅。咁我哋跟住嚟緊呢一個，其實呢個年度內咧，我哋都會誒俾個報告俾教育局㗎啦。咁有兩樣嘢，我哋見到咧，我哋成立咗嗰個傾會嘅，我哋冇講俾你聽嘅，嚇、啊，即係冇正式講啦，不過傾開偈講過咁啊。跟住佢哋就好緊張啦，跟住就嚟問我哋誒，喂，你嗰個傾會幾時會出報告啊？報告之前可唔可以傾下咁啊？咁誒，我話可以嚇，咁咁幾時都傾得嘅嚇，咁、啊、但係就
，即係起碼係睇到就係、是、係、呃、有一定嘅壓力嘅。咁你話誒誒跟住落嚟嗰部咧，我真係要睇下個報道裏面我哋一齊商討嘅時候有啲咩建議啦。不過我諗我哋其實坦白講，我哋講緊我哋喺初步會見到課程係其中一個好重要。嘅環節係去點樣可以誒誒 c a t e 到俾一啲第二語言嘅學習者。第二就係我哋講緊就係點樣可以誒、呃、驅使到更多嘅學校去、呃、接收或者去考慮非華語嘅學生、呃。政府如果頭先聽翻阿蘇華講翻咧，就係、是呃、政府有一系列嘅措施 policy address 裏面出咗嘅。咁裏面都真係有一啲措施咧係、呃、有啲嘅。誒係咯，措施咧，例如話就係、是、鼓勵一啲嘅幼稚園啦，尤其是頭先講緊幼稚園啦，就係話就算佢收咗一啲少量嘅少數族裔學生咧，佢都可以提供一啲支援嘅。咁呢個都係我諗，其實我哋大家喺過去兩年咧，不斷同政府講啊，不斷上立法會啊，咁誒嘅一啲嘅成果嚟嘅。咁你話係咪一定有效咧？未知，我哋啱先講出都唔知係咪會即係一定得嘅。咁但係起碼我哋見到嗰個進程係有一啲地方係做緊嘅，咁我當然希望就係嚟緊個報告裏面有一啲具體嘅建議嘅時候咧，政府可以積極考慮。你想講啲嘢？補充少少，你仲話講 hate speech 嘅嘢啦，因為誒、呃、用樂會係一個幫即係少數族裔嘅機構啦，同埋即係講人權啊、講權益嘅啦。咁我哋好多時咧係收到好多咁嘅 George 都知嚇，咁、啊、係一啲即係好 derogatory 啊、好誒貶貶貶低性啊，同埋會係講曬即係直情寫曬粗口出嚟啊，係鬧少數族裔啊，叫佢哋翻家鄉啊。咁你都話咁，我你冇香港就家鄉，我去邊啊？係咪？咁佢哋真係係好差嘅。咁、呃、另外呢，其實我都想問下記協，因為除咗、呃、我哋可以投訴報紙寫嘅嘢之外呢，其實我哋都會睇到，尤其是而家網上嘅、呃、即係有好多、呃、有 online version 啦，咁我哋都會見到，譬如一講起少數族裔嘅一啲、呃、篇章或者文章或者報導嘅時候呢，就誒而家好多報紙都有 comment section 嘅，即係你自己都可以加評論或者評語落去嘅，咁都係一連串係一啲即係好。誒、呃、用一啲好悲賤嘅嘅嘅形容詞啊，去鬧少數族裔嘅。咁我哋都喺度諗，咁其實如果係咁樣嘅情形之下，咁其實係同翻報館講啊，叫報館即係收下佢啊，即係即正如好似我哋同 Facebook 一樣。咁我哋遇到呢啲情形係點咧？咁最後我想講就係話，點解我哋覺得點解容樂會覺得教育制度係咁緊要？就係、是、因為。如果細細個咧根本係唔識睇顏色嘅，佢唔會識得知道呢個係咩人咩族嘅人。大家一齊翻落嘅時候咧，就會 mix 就會一齊噶啦。咁但係我哋而家發覺，因為個教育制度嘅問題啦，因為好多小數族集中咗喺某一啲學校嗰度，咁變咗佢哋冇呢一個嘅 diverse 嘅 sense。咁佢哋見到小數族裔又可能加埋唔同嘅傳媒嘅報導啦，又或者佢哋淨係知道、呃、香港大部分少數族裔都係非傭、印傭嚟嘅。咁誒講到即係如果係 hate speech 咧，唔係就係我哋呢啲團體啊，幫助一啲外傭嘅團體咧，佢哋嘅 Facebook page 咧一樣係受到攻擊，好多唔好嘅 comment 喺嗰度。咁我覺得歸根究底，真係如果細細個就可以大家有一個共融嘅環境讀書咧，就爭好遠啦。我其實都想問下廿四點，我琴日先至聽到喺誒、um, ，even 喺大學啊，咁啱啱有個大學生同我講，佢話佢呢間係一間即係八大嚟㗎啦，誒、uh, 英文 university international university， 但係咧喺個當度咧，佢竟然咧係唔可以參加 hall 裏邊任何啲活動，因為冚唪唥都係英文中文。咁佢就覺得自己好隔離咗，入咗嚟一間 international university， 但係咧其實。佢係想 mingle 嘛，有個 international experience， 但係佢哋就會覺得好困難咯。佢哋就冇一個 sense 係會話誒、嗯，我嚟包容你。咁同埋咧，佢哋都會講啲好差嘅説話，因為其實誒、嗯、少數族裔都係 local student 嚟嘅，佢哋識得聽噶嘛。佢哋就會講一啲粗口啊，翻嚟即即係你哋都唔識講話，你唔好裝埋我哋一齊啦。你都唔係香港人。由先你讀大學嗰陣時喺誒誒，我邊度嘅 ？This is weird. Take it off so I can understand your question. Put it back on. Let me try. Let me try. 咁由先你讀過大學喺香港，咁你嘅 experience 係點啊
，歡迎各位講誒當誒講多個 point。Right. So regarding the university, yes, I've been in two universities, and obviously, there in the beginning you can't mingle because it's new, right? So I studied in a DSS school system, so it's direct subsidy scheme, which is designated for like the ethnic minority, the poor ethnic minority who cannot afford an international school, right? And in my school,、uh, when I came from Pakistan, I felt just like home because everybody was the same nationality. <laughs> So I could either speak English or, but English was very the, the minor language I spoke. I could speak Urdu all along in my school, and the teachers were always, you know, treating it like a burden to speak English. And usually those teachers would come to teach who can't find a job elsewhere. So that's the reality of the DSS schools,、uh, at least ten years ago. But I don't know now. So the point being that at that time. I was in a in a location where I did not get exposure to the local public, and on the other hand, the local public could not get exposure to us. So the local Chinese students don't even know how to deal with us or how how to make friends with us. What type of interests do we have? Do we have anything in common, or is everything different? Right. This is a luxury that is afforded by the international school students. Local regular school students don't even get to know us. So when I went to the university, there was definitely an alienation. There was a time, there was a learning curve. But later on, once these guys understood me and I understood them, we became really good friends. And so in the beginning, you can't sit with them in the canteen because they don't let you take the lunchbox inside, and they will eat from the restaurant, but you can't eat there because it's not halal, things like that. But later on, once they understand that okay, halal food is important to me, I'll bring my food from home. So they would fight with the canteen security guards for me, saying, "You don't let this one person bring his lunchbox. We won't eat in the canteen anymore." So they will definitely lose eleven customers. That is why they let you in. So the point being that the community is ready, but we have not exposed them to this information, and that leads me to a question. Just like I said, I can ask a question. So there are very four distinguished guests here. You represent really big organizations, but definitely I represent the largest organization of all on this panel, the community, right? You you either serve me or I pay to serve you. So I or either pay you to serve me. So definitely, you have a duty. You all have a duty to serve the community. And until now, the discussion has been towards the passive part. We react as institutions, as organizations. We are reacting towards racism. Something comes to the journalist association, and then you take up the case. Something comes to the EOC, then you take the case. Like same same for Facebook and Unison. But I want to quickly go through each of you and address this point, at least one or two points. What have you done proactively to serve the community, to highlight the issue of racism and solve it on the government level, on the community level, on journalism, social media? What have you done? First of all, I think that、um, after the form, okay, after the formulation of the ethnic minorities union, okay, can't do this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 第一樣嘢，我我我諗誒係一個好好嘅問題嚟嘅，因為而家我哋講緊就好多都係一啲即係好似係 reactive 嘅嘢啦。誒、呃，平基會成立誒小組嘅事務組咧，當然係想做一啲倡議嘅工作，做多啲誒即係培訓嘅工作。咁但係我哋都睇到，我哋成立咗三年啦。誒、呃，你頭先講嗰個問題係相當誒誒誒，係係係 valid 嘅。咁所以我哋今年其實都覺得誒，不然唔好誒，淨係誒同政府誒，我話要多啲呢啲嘢，要多啲嗰啲要做嘅，繼續做。但係我哋就誒、呃，如果大大家喺台面咧，我都拎咗嚟嘅，就係、是、我哋今年咧，啱啱就做咗一樣嘢，就向僱主嘅，但係佢就唔係學校，學校我哋做緊第二樣嘢。咁但係向僱主嗰部分咧，我哋就有一個叫做。推動多元共融，僱主立章。咁要做呢樣嘢咧，我哋就係敲門揾啲僱主話俾佢聽。喂，不如我哋一齊去諗下點樣有一啲多元共融種族嘅嘅一啲政策，同埋一啲良好嘅守則或者良好嘅 practice 俾誒我哋嘅僱員啦。佢唔一定係話要請少數族裔嘅朋友，唔係我哋唔係要大家誒完成曬所有中文嘅著嘅嘅要求去請少數族裔嘅朋友，唔係咁。
，而係可能俾多啲機會你嘅員工去了解多啲其他族裔嘅人啦，又或者你行去去檢視下有冇一啲嘅嘅工種其實係適合。請小組做嘅朋友，又或者個中文嘅要求唔係一個一刀切嘅要求嚟嘅，我哋而家做緊呢樣嘢嘅。咁呢樣嘢就係話，我哋希望可以講共融，幫我講支持，或者我哋要去回應有已有嘅問題，我哋想做一啲嘢係係 proactive 一啲嘅。個反應唔錯嘅，我哋冇政府額外資源做呢樣嘢嘅。我坦白講，我哋自己真係自己敲門去做。我喺我過去兩個月咧，就不斷敲門去同啲即公司度開會介紹嘅。反應都有好多好嘅公司，我哋有兩個極端，一啲就係佢本身做緊一啲幾好嘅嘢㗎啦，不過佢就會自己做咗，仲要話俾人聽嘅。另外一啲就完全唔知點做，就話我聽我可以點做。咁我哋正正就希望拉攏嗰啲做咗一啲好嘅計劃嘅，分享俾一啲、呃、完全唔知點做嘅。咁我希望可以一路做落去嘅時候，可以帶動到多啲可以係我哋叫 proactive 一啲嘅工作。雖然我頭先講比較多係即係希望大家去 report 啲 problem， 但係並唔代表呢個係 solve problem 嘅、呃、一個唯一一個途徑。咁、呃、我,我今日點解會嚟到呢度呢？都係因為 Victoria 嘅關係。咁、呃、我咧喺 Victoria 誒、呃、嗰、那個、呃、Resolve campaign 嘅 campaign partner。咁大家會睇到個 video 咧，其實最主要嘅平台都係 Facebook 同 Instagram 上面俾大家睇到嘅。頭先我哋傾緊嗰陣，好似而家都已經差唔多廿五萬嘅人會誒睇過。咁我自己覺得呢個數對一個 NGO 入面嚟講係好成功嘅。後屘我頭先話五百幾萬嘅用户 Facebook， 但係你係好短嘅時間之內，但可能要廿五喺 reach 喎，係真係有人睇過。頭先我有同 Victoria 有 carry 翻過。咁呢個我覺得係一個好好嘅 approach， 係一個好 proactive 嘅一個 effort 嘅最。最最 obvious 嘅一種方法，但係我都想俾啲建議，可能下一次做 campaign 嗰陣咧，我哋都可以 highlight 啲、呃、更加 successful 嘅 minority 嘅 stories， 從一個更加 positive 嘅角度咧，係同大家講，其實唔係唔係 minority 嘅嗰個族群，其實唔係單單係誒印尼嘅 mate 啦，或者即係好似其實頭先你都有提到咧，你嘅家族都好犀利嘅喺香港。咁呢個係一方面，另外一方面 proactive， 我覺得 education 都係好好。重要嘅一排，咁唔係單單 EOC 要做，要要即係都唔係單單 EOC 嘅 scope， 其實教育局都好重要嘅。你點樣去營造啲誒最基本嘅嗰啲誒誒知識或者啲 understanding， 可以喺最即即係誒好少小朋友嗰陣就可以去令到佢哋 understand， 同埋喺單單係喺 speech 有啲 media literacy 嘅嘢誒都可以要做做到咯。少少你頭先嗰個誒、嗯、問題咯，誒、呃、喺 media 層面咧，其實有一個得意嘅情況嘅，我回應咗頭先 Chris 嗰個問題先，即係話咧有陣時我哋睇啲 website， 佢哋啲 comments 有好多好極端嘅言論，誒、嗯、咁究竟我哋可唔可以做嘢嘅咧？我想 share 一個情況俾大家，就係、是、我哋自己個 Facebook page， 記住自己嘅 Facebook page， 日日都俾人鬧嘅。咁咧，誒、呃，但係咧，我哋有一個原則就係，我哋係一個捍衞言論自由嘅機構。咁所以咧，嗰條線點樣畫咧？我哋捍衞人哋有 opinion， 我哋會有，我哋會聽佢哋講，我會俾個 platform， 俾空間佢哋去發表。誒、呃，我哋唔會 delete 佢嘅，除非嗰樣嘢係犯法，即係可能真係恐嚇啊。拉布啊等等嘅嘢，我哋就會 take action。但係如果唔係嘅，佢係講我唔憎你，咁我哋就唯有由得佢講。但係我哋可以做啲咩咧？其實就係去 balance 嗰啲嘅 speech， 就有冇一啲你可以 call 有多少少 quality 嘅 content 係可以 contribute 喺嗰個 platform 嘅上面咧？咁呢樣嘢其實我覺得係值得我哋一齊去做嘅。我有一啲傳媒，我哋可以點名去？誒讚揚佢嘅誒隱形香港 HK 零一，佢哋係好 specifically 去 target 一啲 minority groups 去做好多訪問，係好好睇嘅。咁或者 RHK 大家唔使講，即係佢哋真係做好多。咁而我哋同 RHK 每年都有一個 campaign 一齊做咧，就係、是、去學校教啲小朋友
叫做 reporters， 即係點樣咁去年我哋個主題咧就係、是、種族共融，咁就係叫一啲同同學仔佢哋去設計一個報紙，或者去打一個 video 去講一個 topic。今年我哋個題目就變咗係 age 嘅共融啦，即係老人家同埋年輕人 generation。咁即係等等，我哋都會喺 education 嗰方面去 participate， 令到咧個人嘅質素可以提升。記者有一個特別嘅地方咧，就係、是、我哋除咗講 freedom of speech 言論自由之外咧，其實我哋都係講 independence， 即係話咧，我哋唔可以依賴個報紙個老細佢有良心咯。即係我哋當然最好有啦，但係我哋係要期待同埋去培訓一班。記者嘅咁多個 individuals， 佢哋有咁樣嘅對自己嘅要求，佢哋識得去 make judgment， 亦都可以捍衞到佢哋有一個偏財自主嗰個 rights， 同埋一個咁樣嘅空間俾佢哋做嗰份工。講少少，即係如果你用樂會嘅立場咧，就係正如 J George 咁樣講，我哋都會擺一啲誒、嗯、做一啲 media case 啊 ，features 啊。係一啲即係成功嘅小組長樣，咁另外咧，其實我哋做好多嘅誒 cultural sensitivity training 嘅，即係對文化敏感度嘅 training 啦。尤其是係對老師啦，因為似乎好多學校就係唔願收佢哋啦。咁我哋會去誒唔同嘅學校嗰度同佢哋講解，即係誒唔係即係唔係講緊 culture， 唔係講佢哋食乜嘢，誒佢哋誒嘅 religion 係乜嘢，佢哋著衫係點係點樣嘅，而係真係講點樣去提升佢哋嘅文化敏感度，點樣令到佢哋都覺得佢哋都係香港人。佢哋都有權，即係同我哋我哋同老師講就唔會講到咁咁即係咁深層嘅。但係起碼就係每個小朋友都應該有有一個即係有個有個誒、呃、權利啦，去攞到一個平等嘅教育啦。咁同埋即係都係提升翻佢哋一啲即係誒對於 diversity 啊，對於誒、呃、culture 啊嘅 sensitivity 咯。咁呢啲係我哋做好多嘅誒、呃，尤其是係對老師或者社工，因為少數族裔嚟講。尤其是巴基斯坦同尼泊爾人咧，喺嗰、那個誒誒、嗯呃，即係 social economic status 嗰度，佢哋真係好多係 under poverty line 嘅咯。咁所以我哋都會同社工誒、呃、都做，因為如果你哋可能唔知啦，因為社即係喺誒佢哋獲取即係、就是、社會服務嘅時候咧，其實而家一般嘅主流嘅誒、嗯、團誒、呃、主流嘅 organisation 啊，或者啲 agencies 啊，係唔會好中意唔會 serve 佢哋嘅，即係唔係唔中意係佢哋話佢哋冇分力去 serve 佢哋嘅。即係 even 都大家都係香港人，點解點解你誒係、嗯、一啲即係皮膚唔同嘅人，你就你就冇分定去 serve 佢哋咧？咁所以咧係有啲指定嘅中心俾少數族裔去嘅。咁我哋都希望即係社工都有呢一個咁樣嘅即係 cultural sense 同埋一個 diverse 嘅 sense 都可以幫到佢哋。補充翻舊少少關於 media 嘅，因為我自己都係以前做 media 嘅，咁誒。嗯有時咧就，我我我我覺得香港嘅新聞咧，即係單單係講 news report 嚟講咧，誒、呃、啲 hate speech 嘅 issue 咧係好少見嘅，即係單單係 news report 嚟講，誒、呃、就事論事，比較多嘅問題咧，往往係啲觀點啊，或者係啲 columnist 上面嘅。咁誒喺唔喺誒成，即係因為 Facebook 我我我自己唔 produce content 嘅嘛，其其實我哋係 distribute 個 content。咁你你個個人嘅 content， 你 publish 喺 Facebook 上面咧，呢、這個都有一個的的確係有一個 freedom of expression 嘅誒、呃、一個 concern 喺呢度嘅。咁我無啦啦好似咯誒、呃，你譬如話有個報紙，如果呢呢、這個係一個真實嘅一個 case， 平機會都知道嘅。可能係上一年定係一六年嗰陣，我唔記得。咁誒、呃、有個 NGO 就投訴話有個報紙嘅 column 咧寫啲南亞嘅情況係寫得誇張啲嘅，有啲係 hate speech 嘅。咁我就唔，我誒，但係嗰個報紙嘅嗰個 content 都 publish 喺 Facebook 上面嘅，咁好多人 share 啦，可能個 impact 仲大過你你單單睇報紙，咁唔會有人買個報紙話誒，嗰張報紙點樣睇過咁樣嘅。咁我就問問翻嘅，我就話咁你哋有冇同個報紙去傾過呢樣嘢咧？都都冇喎。但係咁咁我都覺得好難做，好似咧。先唔論呢個係咪 hate speech， 你叫我去 take down 一個 media page 嘅嘢，咁好大禍，即係好似我哋 interfere 香港嘅個 media freedom 咁樣嘅。咁喺唔喺啲 media 自己對啲 columnist 或者甚至而家因為個個報紙有時都唔，以前咧做 column 我自己都做報紙，以前做 columnist 好難㗎嘛。你而家個個人開個 blog 都話自己係 columnist 嘅
。咁你你喺唔喺呢個吧喺邊度咧？即、就、係、是、你自己作為 publisher 嚟講，你點樣去睇呢件事情咧？其實其實你如呢個係即係你你喺嗰個 content 嘅 producer 係個 source of 嗰個 information 啊。如果你可以更加誒追即係可以係 chase 啲 high quality 嘅 content 嘅話咧，其實可以解決到後面好多問題嘅咯。Hello, okay. I want to open up a question and answers to the floor. Um, uh, any questions that people may have for the panelists? Um, and there'll be people going around to give you. Uh, microphones. Pooja. Thank you, uh, everyone. Uh, it's been really, really insightful, and uh, I'm sorry, but I have a few things that I want to share with you as I've been reflecting on the conversation. And <clears throat> the first thing I want to say and start with is that um, it's been very troubling to uh, witness the developments, for example, in Pittsburgh with the shooting of the Jewish community in the synagogue. And if we just reflect for even a moment, what was this perpetrator depending on in order to drive the hatred that he had for the Jews, it becomes very relevant and pertinent to us here as we talk about everyday racism. So what worries me about our discussion so far is how it's mostly focused on um, you know, the structural aspects of exclusion, marginalization, and we've sort of steered away from the original sort of confronting everyday racism and why it matters. And I think, Zohar, you made a really good point in raising the example of the UK journalist who said, well, at least there isn't racial violence. But if we think of it in a different sort of lens, that what is happening in the US now and what is happening around the world, if we think about Myanmar and many other countries, India, you know, that is the future of everyday racism. And that is why we must uh, compel some more rigorous responses as opposed to self regulatory self-regulatory measures. And on that, I think, George, you know, I applaud very much the fact that Facebook recognizes that it has a, an indispensable role to play. But at the same time, I think it's, it's time to reevaluate this concept that Facebook doesn't create content. It is just a curator of content. I don't think so. I think the issue is deeper. There is so much power that Facebook wields. It's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing, and we've seen that in such a powerful way uh, in these past couple of years that I think it's time to, again, reevaluate our use of free speech arguments to say, oh, we can't interfere because that is uh, you know, interfering with other people's human rights. Human rights come with the exercise of responsibility, and I think we have to ask ourselves what is our role and responsibility as bystanders, but also as the controllers of uh, very powerful vehicles and platforms. And how can we uh, do sort of the right thing, not just because of the business case for diversity. So, you know, Yasir, I really applaud your sort of um, appeal to the community to talk about this and to say this is not about us, you know, us versus them, it's about all of us, yes. But in Hong Kong, we're still stuck on the business case for diversity. And I mean, I can only think of one thing, that where there is a, a constancy about the racism that we face, whether it's my son trying to gain education in, you know, in a kindergarten, and you know, teachers say, oh, are you sure that your family wants to be in our school? We don't think you'd be happy here. You probably won't master Chinese, I'm sorry. To whether it's more sort of invidious, where oftentimes we don't even know what is the reason why somebody might treat us a particular way. We're in a, you know, in the politically correct moment, we're in a space where often such um, discrimination is actually implicit, and, and it's not exposed, and that makes it even more dangerous. And the, the most heartbreaking example of this in the context of you know, racial profiling and law enforcement in Hong Kong is when a 13-year-old, no, 11-year-old Sikh boy has reached out to the police for help, and the whole thing is turned on his head where he's instead arrested for assault and then has to wait for six years for a judgment which finds him believable as a witness, but then to be told that the law is inadequate because it doesn't cover police functions and powers. That, to me, is when you've reached a crisis point. The most powerful institution in Hong Kong in terms of regulation basically is perpetrating 
discrimination against a marginalized community. This is a child who is an ethnic minority and comes away with no recourse. That is where we're at. And I think the conversation therefore has to be, how, has, how have we allowed everyday racism to perpetuate? It's because we've normalized it. Uh, George, uh, to my, uh, after George, maybe Hilda, this Hilda. Hey, hey. Uh, uh, they on Facebook, uh, to my Hilda, when you free speech, you can advocates for minority issues, gender equality, I see you everywhere at <laughs> different conferences. Uh, this debate over whether Facebook is a media company or not a media company is not new. You know, it's been talked about for many, many years, uh, especially for the recent years. Uh, and and, and I, I know the question will be brought up by the different conferences, but I'm not shy of it. You know, this is why I'm here. I really hope next time we can bring in another company starting with G to also join the debate. <laughs> so if you ask me, uh, I came from media sector, so I know what the freedom of expression means. Uh, but in the meantime, I also want to say, um, I'm not so sure how many of you visited the, the museum, the news museum in Washington, D.C. When you enter the museum, there's a, there's a big banner which says freedom of expression is not a free license to be stupid or, or something like that. I very, very much agree on that. You know, this is, well, this is why we have community standards. This is why every country has local laws. It's, uh, I, I, I shouldn't say like we, we, we just delete things based on community standards. If the content is violation of local laws, we can also take down it. Upon the government request, upon user, re user report, and we will go through legal uh, procedures. Back to the debate on uh, whether Facebook produce content or not. The fact is, fundamentally, we are a technology company. You know, we are based in California. We did a lot of things more than so. A lot of people know Facebook, Facebook, the big blue app, big, the big blue app. But we also do a lot of other things. Oculus is a company that is dedicated to VR technology development, which has nothing to do with uh, you know, a lot of issues we discussed today. It's more about education, medical training, and other things. Uh, we also uh, work a lot on the AI development. We have a Facebook AI research uh, uh, team based in New York doing a lot of AI to make the world better. Um, the thing is, we don't hire journalists. We don't hire editors. I was a journalist. I sometimes miss my older days. I, I totally understand what, where you come from you know, in terms of where the boundary is, what I can say, what I cannot say. For example, I shouldn't have a uh, you know, political opinion, like a representing Facebook, to tell you like, which candidate I like or not. Um, but, but that is to say, like, we, we don't make an editorial decision on those content. If Facebook is viewed and considered as a media company, the whole debate today will be very different. Like I will tell you like which, what I like, what I don't like, I like every single newspaper. But having said that, I'm fully aware of the debate and I think that this is certainly an area we should continue to explore and do more and do better to um, improve you know, the, the engagement with our users, the local communities. Thanks, George. Uh, Hilda, is free speech absolute? 這個是考試的問題如果我們回到考試的答案是free <笑> 成件事為什麼要有free
，嗰、那個係關乎到 human rights education。第二樣嘢咧就係、是、當我哋去面對 ethnic minorities 或者其他 minorities， 我哋點樣能夠幫或者提供空間俾佢哋多少少話語權？呢樣嘢咧，其實誒係好緊要嘅。有陣時咧，我哋見到其實唔好講 ethnic minorities， 好坦白講，係依家香港面對住最大嘅言論攻擊嘅，可能可能係我哋自己人咯，即、就、係、是、中國人。咁咁嚟到依一點嘅時候就複複雜咗啦，我就唔去詳細講。但係你會想像到，當你面對住依一啲。如果你調翻轉頭，你 step in 轉住人哋嗰個 shoes 去諗嘅時候，其實我哋係咪真係提供緊一個 equal 嘅 platform 俾大家去講嘢咧？咁你哋亦都見到咧，其實有一啲慢慢新興嘅傳媒咧，其實佢哋係爭取緊呢個話語權嘅。咁而令到大家依家有少少去到一個 development 咧，就有少少兩極嘅對立。喺度產生緊，咁但係如果你再放長遠啲去睇，再攤開少少嗰個 game， 會唔會我哋一啲 ethnic minority 都可以慢慢有一啲 platform 係可以講多啲嘢嘅，咁而令到依個 free speech 嘅環境係可以飽和啲，係大家都有平衡。咁百花齊放底下，其實就係變咗一個我哋願景想見到嘅嘢。呢呢個都係一個好 important 嘅 point， 係誒誒個大大啲嘅問題係香港嘅 identity and 香港嘅 identity 誒誒糾質之後，但係我相信我哋要第二個 panel 先可以繼續誒傾誒嗰個 topic 誒 act 誒 flow。This gentleman, can I just speak like this? Yeah. Uh, uh, can people hear at the back? Can hear can people hear at the back? Uh, up to you. Okay. Um, so I guess this is a more technical question for for both Hilda and and George. And I'm just going to get this disclaimer out there. I'm not speaking on behalf of Resol. Um, to Hilda, I also want to say that you do some things, right? Is it only restricted to Zoom? Because you just said that there are a lot of online media that are not covered. 咁誒，亦都例如有一間依家上嘅視係羣衝嘅嘅嘅 ad agency 啦，咁佢哋都其實有做一啲係類近報導嘅工作，咁但係你又唔可以 technically 誒叫佢做一個即係係咯係啦 media， 咁你喺嗰啲情況你點樣處理咧？或者你會唔會譬如四通，或者港管局有一啲誒合作啦？誒、呃、呢、这個係 to George， 咁我即係頭先 to John and Bruce's point， 其實。喺網上面你見到嘅所有言論都係有 real world consequences 噶嘛？咁當然即係最差可能依家係美國嘅情況就係一啲即係即係誒種族仇恨啦，係 manifest 到一啲即係即係 violence 咁樣。咁我身邊其實都好多朋友係即係 online 有做做 advocacy 嘅。咁而佢哋面對緊嘅情況就係好多時候佢哋去誒、呃、講一啲即係佢哋認為不公義嘅嘢啦，即係譬如 against 誒、uh, white supremacy。咁佢哋嘅 post 係俾人 take down 咗嘅，而出面係有好多個即係 white nationalist 嘅嘅 page 啊或者 groups 啊係仍然存在。咁所以我其實好好奇 Facebook 有冇一個 global policy on on 呢一樣嘢啦，或者如果冇有或者冇都好啦，咁喺誒 local 嘅層面係係點樣去做啦？誒、um, ，I like this is to begin a question to ask. Thank you.
做咗咁高睇嘅。第二樣嘢就係嗰個 ad agency， 你都講咗係一個 ad agency 啦，所以就歐落我哋嘅 scope， 明啦。誒、uh, ，我想講呢 h k j 係好辛苦嘅，佢哋 resources 好有限，因為我以前都係你啲 member， 咁我加入 Facebook 之後都唔係啦，所以我知道其實佢哋好多人呢，就係、是、我以前同事 Shelly 啊呢啲都係即係 part time 幫手喺搞緊 h k j 嘅，所以其實其實就就我係我想幫你哋搞啲嘢嘅。咁講返我哋 take down 嘅誒誒個 policy 咧，即係頭先我講，即係其實有兩個大嘅方面會誒。呃即係又會有一個 take down 嘅可能性嘅，一個咧就係違反咗我哋嘅 community standards。咁 community standards 其實就有唔同嘅語言嘅版本，同埋全世界都係公開嘅，即係可以上 Facebook 去睇。咁、呃、另外一個咧就係、是、違反咗啲 local law 嘅。咁有時咧，有時咧就佢可能冇違反，即係即係即係佢係 not in violation of 佢我哋嘅 community standards 嘅。但係咧，佢哋就可能係違反咗，<笑>可能係違反咗。我哋係講啲 sensitive 嘅嘢，有啲咧，有啲緊張。咁誒、呃，有時咧就佢可能係違反咗 local 嘅 law。咁咧就可能有時咧會誒、呃，有有時咧就會 restrict 呢個 content 喺呢一個地方，即係違反 local 嘅地方係唔出現嘅。咁但係 take down 嗰陣咧，要係一個好複雜嘅過程，即、就、係、是、我唔知道你個案係點樣嘅，但係有有啲情況咧喺佢成個 content 你睇上去覺得冇咩問題，但係佢其中有啲字眼咧，或者有啲 terms 咧係 h a t speech 嘅，咁就 take down 之後，咁都好多人會鬧嘅，就啊你點解你點解 take down 啊？啊即係依你你你哋係誒 censorship 啊，唔識呢個唔識嗰個嘅。但係，但係我哋要好難即係 case by case 過過去同你講，你應為係邊啲問題違反咗啊？唔係成個成成篇嘢，但係我我都冇辦法 highlight 出嚟喎。喂，你你你呢兩個字冇去寫哦，其他嘅 rest of content 係 OK 嘅。但係嘅方向嚟講咧，香港咧就網上嘅文化，我相信大家都好明白嘅。大家好似都比較激動啲，有時咧就會用啲動物啊、誒、呃、粗口啊去去。describe 一啲誒冇一唔一定係 minority 嘅，即係即係頭頭頭先你都講得啱，其實最大嘅問題都即係最 aggressive comment 喺 minority 上面。咁咧，我哋咧就有個 policy 好簡單，你唔可以去 dehumanise 一個 protected category。咩所咩之誒、呃、所謂即係 protected category 咧 ？nationality 係嘅，誒、呃、race 都係係嘅，即係你唔可以話邊個族係好似豬咁樣。誒、呃、或者點樣點樣嘅，咁但係成件事情咧要擺喺個 context 誒、呃、裏面嚟睇，所以其實因為語言咧其實係好誒流動性好大嘅，所以所以其實都唔係一個好清楚可以話 yes or no 嘅有時。Well,、uh, thanks, George.、Um, there are at least two or three more topics that I want to bring up, but we've got to wrap things up.、Um, uh, I learned a lot today. Uh, um, I hope everyone learned something. What a Dajahong, Dajaking, Dajakalong, I'm a Hengong, Dori Oi Liu Dai, Kuri Kuri issues. Try to do all the, do all the. Dori Sai, what a come up with panelists. Thank you. And thank you to all. Um, I want to. I'll be doing this in English. I'm the founder and the CEO of Resolve, and I want to thank you so much for coming today and showing your support for the campaign. And like Zohar said, wanting to see how we can all be better people, essentially.、Um, so basically, what I want to make sure I do is thank some key organizations and people that made this campaign possible. As you know, the work of this campaign is actually the culmination of our 2018 fellowship. And so, first and foremost, I want to thank the fellows for their hard work and also some hard choices that they had to make along the way in making this campaign come together. I also want to thank the storytellers who took part in the campaign.
thank you for your faith and your courage in sharing uh, your story and believing in this project. And um, again, a lot of the fellows, you know, whether they've engaged in this campaign as well as the storytellers, or they've engaged with other NGOs or done work on their own uh, individually, they've been doing a lot to raise awareness about racial equality, particularly because Hong Kong was reviewed by the UN just a couple months ago. And the United Nations made some very strong recommendations to Hong Kong on how to improve the situation. So um, I want to give our first uh, big gratitude to Rights Exposure, to Yvonne and Rob for making this happen. They were the producers, and they provided strategic uh, and technical and creative support, and without you, it wouldn't be possible. I want to thank the Hive Shen Wan for being a venue partner um, in this fabulous space. And, um, and also, uh, yes. And also, I'm having my photo taken by actually Photo for Good, which is a group of volunteer uh, photographers that are helping us capture some nice memories. So thank you to you guys as well. And uh, this campaign obviously requires funding and sponsorship. And so I want to thank Lush, which was actually uh, allowed us to be Charity Pot recipient as well as Her Fund. Thank you, Her Fund, for uh, allowing us to be a grantee partner. We're so happy about it. Um, and uh, there's uh, many kind of individual contributors or organizations that provided some advice and support in the background. Um, they're here today, and they know who they are. And I, I really want to thank them as well. Um, and a special gratitude does go to Facebook because they helped us be able to push this campaign. And it was because of that support that the campaign on Facebook and Instagram alone has over 250,000 views. That's not even reach, the reach is much wider. So really, I, I want to thank Facebook for this um, support and for being a, a social media partner. As you may know, when we embarked on this fellowship, we got some comments that actually this topic because our fellowship changes from year to year was difficult and controversial and hard. And um, I went to our uh, PR company and expressed this to them and asked them to help us. And so I really want to thank um, Social Strategy Hong Kong, which has helped us in knowing how to push the campaign and make sure the messaging resonates locally. Um, and I'm glad that they actually embraced this challenge. Um, how can we make Hong Kong a more inclusive and equal place? And I want to say the same to you. You're all here because you've also embraced that challenge and you care. And yeah, racism unfortunately happens in many parts of the world. But we live here in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is our home. And respecting, protecting, and promoting human rights starts here at home with us in this room. So I have to say that over the past months of being part of the campaign, um, I've actually learned a lot about Hong Kong. And as Zohar mentioned, um, the contributions of ethnic minorities are painted all over the walls of this city, if you we actually start noticing, from Star Ferry to the founding of Hong Kong University. And um, we all, in some way, maybe we don't know the experience of racial discrimination, but in some way all of us are minorities in some sense. And we all navigate this world also having some privilege that gives us advantage that other people might not have. And it's not something to be ashamed of, actually. Um, it's something to reflect on because let's ask ourselves, how can we use that privilege to make this society a bit more inclusive and dignified for our neighbors and our friends? How can we use it? So maybe one thing is stop being a bystander. So if, if you look at the stories, one thing I noticed, most of them have some element of a bystander. Make a story about being in a restaurant. There was a family next to her that got special great treatment while she didn't. So maybe that's something we can all reflect on. How can we stop being bystanders? And not just about racism, but about sexism, about other forms of casual discrimination. 
I really hope that from today, you also engage in our social media campaign and help us amplify the voices of minorities. We need your support on that. And again, at Resolve, you know, uh, none of all this would be possible without our volunteers who are all here, our board, our staff. So I say to you, first of all, please give them a round of applause. <laughs> of our community. Um, we actually have at the door uh, a chance for you to sign up to our newsletter. Uh, there's a guest book. I hope, I'm so sorry that we didn't have time in the Q&A to um, discuss this more, but please do share your thoughts in the guest book or even online engaging in the hashtags. Uh, maybe you yourself want to share your story as well. And actually next month, uh, Resolve is going to be announcing the theme of our next fellowship, our 2019 fellowship. It will be on a totally different topic, but I think that what we aim to do is push the needle on some issues that are neglected and, some, and, and promote voices that need to get heard in Hong Kong. We'd like to ask you to help us to do that work sustainably. If you like what you've seen today, please do approach our team. We have a donation box here. You're welcome to make a donation. Even better, if you want to help support the 2019 Fellowship, please consider being a regular giver. I have colleagues here who can help talk to you about it. In any case, please do uh, stay in touch with us, sign the guest book, sign the newsletter, have a good time, uh, and let's Let's make sure that together we can try to take what's been discussed in the, in the walls of this room out into the heart of the community. And let's use platforms like the media, like Facebook, let's turn it and let's find the power that is here mentioned and actually share the campaign, promote a counter narrative. It really does start with us. So thank you for coming. It already shows a lot. And now let's see what action we can take. Thanks. Uh, okay.